All right. So now we're going to create the storyboard. So how do we create storyboards? Well, basically, we want to package this information in a manner that it makes sense for our clients or for our stakeholders to receive. And just having a bunch of pivot tables is not nice enough. So what we do is we create storyboards. So let's create a new story. And by the way, you can also use it from the bottom right hand corner. I went to the top menu to create a new story. And this is the hardest part of this exercise. Uh, so I'm going to warn you. All you got to do now is bring in the dashboard and create this um, um, create this caption right here to say something like introducing introducing our company right um, whatever your company is IHC in this case uh, international hotels intercontinental hotels right ICH if I'm not mistaken well I mean let's just write the name inter um, so you can explain something here then you can bring the second dashboard and bring it in there and notice that I see a little check mark that comes next to it to show that this is happening now this is like a storyboard that you're creating in 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 a PowerPoint presentation so to speak uh, Let's look at our equity, our ROE, and AT, right? Um, we can see that uh, our company was doing was severely impacted in 2008, right? So let's tell a story right there. Then we bring dashboard number three. What can you tell me about this? Well, um, notice that our continental to, uh, continental is doing less than the rest. Our current ratio, uh, we notice we notice that our current ratio, our liquidity, right? Liquidity um, was um, was was on average was consistently um, at risk over the last 10 years uh, and our total assets our total assets um, have been reduced as a result of this liquidity issue right um, and then finally we're going to bring that dashboard number four and every story would be different. So try to come up with a story that's reflective of your data. Uh, this, by the way, I do not like the layout. So let me switch the layout. This should have been um, a little bigger. So let me go back to uh, my story format. Um, so let's go back to the data. Okay, well, let's keep going. So notice that I have the four different ones. I do not like the size. So um, by the way, the layout would be different if I had caption boxes or I can switch it to numbers or I can switch it to, to dots, you know, depending on what you like. Arrows would be a different one. I like the caption boxes because you can tell a story, but I think that it's more modern to show numbers or dots. Um, whatever whatever you decide now let's go back to the storyboard and I need to change the fix size to be an automatic expansion so I don't have everything stuck so once again I can go from one to the other and it shows that I have the automatic size below so no matter what size you have then it's good and I can save this and by the way I can export this presentation in the future right I can play this and now this is the way it would be shown in a presentation, um, uh, whether it's online or it's below. And notice that I, this this is not looking really nice. Uh, and by the, I don't have a final caption. So make sure you put a caption in there. And I would center this. Uh, net income data, shareholders equity data. You may also want to consider putting just one net income with the net income data below it. I chose to keep two at a time. You may want to do uh, just 
uh, one measurement at a time with the data and have eight slides. That would look a little bit more professional, I think. That's an option you have. So at the very least, you have to do four. You can do eight. It's up to you. Um, the, the key here is that is the most likely in real life, you're always going to try to aggregate more information. You don't want to keep, uh, you don't want to make your client or your uh, stakeholder or your boss uh, change one sheet to the next. They want to be able to see these dashboards with a bunch of information at once. Uh, let me add a caption here. Notice that we have um, uh, not done so well <laughs> uh, lately in terms of shareholder value, but we continue to improve. Something like that, right? And that's it, guys. This is all you would have to do for the presentation. Now it's a matter of sharing this, and that is uh, a matter for uh, us to uh, decide. If you were connected to the server, this is where you would connect to the server and publish it. Um, there's uh, there's several services. You could put it on your own. You could go to Tableau Online. You could create a site. If you don't have an account, you would publish it right there. This is how most newspapers and all the websites that you see uh, uh, later uh, are publishing their 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 information why because they can always uh, feed new data on a minute by minute basis and it's always connected online you don't have to be in front of your of your clients especially nowadays that you are working remotely uh, this is just such a wonderful tool so let's go ahead and, and finish the next step thank you guys